To work more efficiently on your drawings, you need easier access to your tools. Under this premise, Ares Commander seeks a constant evolution that allows you to make your workflow more and more efficient. From being able to add an angle to modifying a distance while drawing, even simply changing the color of the model space background. Which color do you identify with the most? Maybe gray? Or do you prefer white? Sometimes there are small functions of very specific actions, but these refinements help the user to work more comfortably. The Ares Commander user interface is now enhanced with contextual ribbons that allow you to view and modify entities. For example, the dimensions, or maybe being able to edit a hatch easily. It also appears when you run some commands like hatch to create new entities, replacing the old dialogs with functions built into the ribbon. Contextual tabs provide important usability benefits, making it easy to access editing tools grouped according to the type of object selected. These changes are applied in real time, while no amodal box blocks the graphics area. For example, when selecting an external reference, we can see the corresponding contextual palette that allows us to open the external reference, among other options, or simply open the Reference Manager. We can also edit images. When we select one, we can see the specific functions for this type of entity. Let's change the brightness, for example. The contextual palette also appears when we select a table cell, showing several options to work with it. It also appears when we select an inserted file with a DGN extension, or even a PDF. For example, we can learn which layers are contained in this embedded PDF. Among the annotation objects, in addition to the dimensions that we saw a moment ago, we will also see contextual palettes when selecting leaders, multi-leaders, and tolerance symbols.